So I'm Emily Scherning. I'm the Director of Research with the National Center for Science Education, and we're working on new outreach programs to bring community education to climate change. So what we're doing here at the Lynn County Fair is we have a hands-on exhibit about ocean acidification, which is a phenomena related to climate change that many people are not aware of, especially here in Iowa where we're so far from ocean. But it's a problem that's going to affect us all. We're doing a lot of things to make these scientific facts really hands-on, physical, and apparent to people here in Lynn County and throughout eastern Iowa. For this exhibit, we have people blow into a cup of water with a straw. So the carbon dioxide in their breath goes into the water, and we can see with pH strips that it'll drop from a pH of about 7, roughly neutral pH, to about 5. Quite a change. And we show them side by side that shells from mussels or other common seafood, something people will really identify with, visibly dissolve in water of the same pH. They can see bubbles coming off of them. Do you want to do a science experiment? Okay. Awesome, that's what I like to hear. Today is a good day for science. Every day is a good day for science. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we are actually gonna be talking about ocean acidification and how carbon dioxide can actually affect organisms that live within the ocean. So what we have here is we have some marine organisms. These are known as mussels. Have you guys ever eaten mussels before? Yeah, you know of them? Awesome. Well, what we have here is we have some shells that have been sitting in an acidic solution. So does anyone know what acid is? Yeah. So, it, like it, can, yeah it can, yeah. It's like, it just thinks so it kind of dissolves. That's exactly right. So yeah, what about this? It's getting there a little bit, right? So let's say, I'd say that that's somewhere around eight, seven and eight. Would you guys agree with that? We're here for Youth Day. And this is uh, related to our outreach work for schools. The National Center for Science Education is really interested in changing community attitudes towards science education and supporting science teachers. So if we can give these families a positive, upbeat, hands-on experience with climate change, that'll make them less concerned about talking about climate change and less concerned about their kids learning about climate change in school. So in our first year of operation here in Iowa, we've really been able to get off the ground wonderfully. Through donations that people have made to our organization, we've raised over $10,000. We've been able to make donations of scientific equipment to classrooms that have impacted almost 2,000 students a year, durable scientific equipment. And we've been able to provide public education in friendly community settings to over 20,000 people about evolution and climate change. We're looking to expand the Booster Club project across the state of Iowa and then nationally.